In this lesson, we're looking at problems involving equivalent ratios. Let's start with some examples. Firstly, the ratio of profit to cost price on sales at a store is 3 to 4. We're asked to find the cost price for an item if the store's profit is $21. Now, let's have a look. We have the ratio of profit to cost. So we're going to write P to C. And we're told that that is in the ratio 3 to 4. Now we're asked to find the cost price. We're told though that the profit is $21, so this is what we know. In the profit column, we can write the $21. But the question is to find the cost price. We're not sure about that, so in our cost price, if you like, we can just put a box there and try to fill that in. So let's see what we've got. The 3 has turned into 21. And to do that, we must multiply by 7. We must then do the same to the 4. So 4 times 7 gives $28. The cost price for the item is $28. Terrific. Our second example. A certain grade of concrete requires a mix of sand, cement and gravel in the ratio 4 to 1 to 2. Now, if 10 buckets of sand are used, how much gravel and cement is needed? Well, setting out is critical. We have sand, cement, and gravel. So S, C, and G. The ratio is 4 to 1 to 2. So we write that down. Now, we're told that there are 10 buckets of sand that are used. So in the sand column, we're going to write 10. And the question is how much gravel and cement is required. So in the cement and gravel, we're not sure what they are, so we'll just put the boxes there. Now, we know that we've gone from 4 to 10, and that requires a multiplication by 2.5. Okay, so to get from 4 to 10 requires multiplying by 2.5. So we're going to make sure we multiply the others by 2.5 as well. Firstly, the 1. 1 times 2.5 is simply 2.5. Then the 2, we times that by 2.5 and we get 5. So to answer the question, how much gravel and cement is needed? Well, the cement, we can see there is 2.5 buckets. And for the gravel, we can see that there are 5 buckets required.